Hello and welcome to Infinity. Doing a vignette with a darkening around the outside of a picture is something that's quite often a nice thing to do to hold the picture in. And there's lots of ways you can do it, but there's one way that is, uh, is fairly quick and easy. If we go down here to Live Filters and go to Vignette here, we have a built-in, we've got controls here so we can make it darker or even lighter. And what I normally do is make it fully dark and then change that later so I just see it. I can make it softer and bigger and so on, even make the, change the shape. However, the one thing that I can't do is move the center. Like center is here, but what if I want to center around that church there? Problem. Well, not. There's always a way around it. And what we do is we first of all we put in a new pixel layer above here. Let's fill it with white. So go to the Flood Fill tool and fill. Now to make it effectively transparent, we're going to go to the blend modes and down to multiply. Now we can apply the vignette to this. So I go to Live Filters and Vignette and set this to whatever I want it to be. Get nice and soft, uh, a bit bigger, but we still can't move this. Even if I take the Move tool, we think, well, maybe I can just drag this over. But when I do this, note the vignetted bit stays very firmly in the middle. So what we can do there is go to the background, go to Document and resize the canvas. And for this, click the center for the anchor and put in a number that's kind of about double what it is. So say 7000 for that and then resize. And what we've got is a bunch of space here. So now we can go to our vignette here. Looks that it's disappeared, but it's actually in the middle. So because if I expand this here, here we go. There's the vignette, it's in the middle of that. So let's bring the control back up, bring the scale back in. So I've got this here, but I still can't drag this. You know, I could, if I try to drag it, nope, it stays very much in the middle. However, I can drag the other one. So go down to the background. Now I can move this. Ooh, I just need to unlock it. Click on the padlock there. Now it works. There we go. So now I can move this around. And the vignette stays in the middle, but I can put it where I want it on here. So, and because it's a life, I can change the scale of this and so on. So go to my background and drag that around. Let's put that on the church up back there. Maybe do a little bit more sizing of it. Uh, that'll do. So there we go. That's how we do that. What you then need to do is when you are going to um, export this, you need to bring this back to the, to the original size. If you crop it again, the vignette will come back to the middle. So you have to go to that layer and then go to layer and rasterize. And that turns this layer into a, just a flat pixel layer so that you can now crop it and then you're okay. And if you need to zoom into the corner, make sure you've got that exactly registered, then click apply and then you can export it like that with its off center. The other things you can do beforehand, so let's control Z back out here. So I go back to this one. Some other tricks you can do with this. If you go to the vignette layer, if I hit control J, I get a copy of it so I can make it darker. If I also go to the, um, if I go to the pixel layer and I get a black paintbrush, I can now paint black and make, make this darker. I've got here, say, a very low opacity brush, 
it's quite low hardness. So if I made it a bit dark around there, I'm painting on the pixel layer itself, but just enhancing that vignette to the way I want it. Also, if I go to the vignette here, I can paint on the mask. Now, if I paint black, I'm actually removing the vignette. So I can paint, for example, I want to get this stone in a bit more. I can paint around here. Let's gradually bring this up. And now I've got that again now. So now if I go to my layer and rasterize it. There we go. And crop it down to here. Um, so only do this when you're going to export. A couple of undos, you got the file again to save or save it beforehand. But there we go. There's how to use the vignette with a movable center and a few other things you can do with it too. Thank you very much for watching.